Hey guys, it's Adam Ways Guy DIY. That's me, and I'm going to show you version 2.0 of my wooden knife. The first one I made was a cake knife. It looked much different. This one kind of had the same path, but then things got a little crazy. This time I'm going to go for a layered effect. I'm using purple heartwood. I'm using zebra wood as well for the blade, and then I'm using a little cherry wood for the scales. I just split up the piece of wood here and then start sanding out those extra blade marks because my blade was not tall enough to be able to cut all the way through those. So as I transfer my image over here, what it looked like, it looks nothing like the final product, but I use a little bit of double-sided tape, stick it together, and then I'll get ready to cut it. So for the first knife, I use a scroll saw. It was a terrible idea. I absolutely recommend using a jigsaw. It was much easier. This blade cuts much easier for this. So uh, don't waste your time. Go with the jigsaw. And as I break it apart here, I'm gonna show you to make the layered effect I take the outer blade, which is the zebra wood, and I'm gonna cut a little bit off. So when I piece them together here, the purple heartwood sticks out a little bit more. And it'll make it easier for sanding. So here's my dramatic recreation because I forgot to leave the camera running. Uh, so what I did is I adjusted the uh, fence there for the size of the scale, and then I take off a little bit of the excess here, and that way that my blades are the same size as my scale so I don't have to sand all that off later. So as everything fits together here, I put my scales on for the handle, and it's a big fat knife. But that's okay, because as we do our glue up here with our tight bond three, everything is gonna to go together nicely and we're start adding clamps and make a clamp stegosaurus. I promise you, it's a stegosaurus, not a porcupine. I let it set overnight and then I come back to it and it is time to start sanding. So I'm using my belt sander, spindle sander here. You can just take off as much as you want. I recommend using the belt uh, but as you start putting the spindles on, you can start getting crazy as I did here. And uh, I started to get a little bit of a bend into the blade and just kind of went with it. And I found a little bit of flaw within the wood itself. So I just kept taking off and taking off and switching spindles. And I started getting a little bit of a curve in the blade. And I was like, okay, this thing's getting a little crazy. So I then switched the spindles again and I start aggressively sanding a little bit more. And what do we have? A bone handle. Had no plan to do this, but I kind of went with it and kind of owned it. So just kind of kept sanding until the knife told me what it wanted to be. So, and it apparently wanted to be like a dagger or a bone handle. So we went with it. We hand sanded afterwards. We went from 180 to 400 grit here. And then we applied walrus oil. It's a food safe oil. And just let that set overnight and wiped off any excess. And now that's it. Uh, that is our wooden knife 2.0. It looks a little bit, like I said, like a prehistoric dagger. Maybe something of the army of the dead might use, but I love the transition here in the three different kinds of the cherry, the zebra wood, and the purple heartwood. So if you like it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on the channel.